Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your week ahead tarot forecast for the week of December the 9th through to the 15th. I went ahead and shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Swords upright. And next we have Major Arcana, the Strength card in the upright, Followed then by the Page of Pentacles reverse, or sorry, the Page of Swords reversed. And last we have Major Arcana, the Fool in the upright position. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. For your overall energy, you have that of the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth energy, that of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Well, Cancer, if you've been waiting for an offer to arrive, it could be taking its time getting to you, could be very, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy, but if they're going to make an offer, this is a solid offer. This is something that they've, it's well planned out, well thought out. Uh, so if this is an offer on anything, if you have your home up for sale or your business, or anything like that, the Knight of Pentacles could be coming in to offer you uh, something. For others of you, this could be a, a career opportunity, this could be a job offer, or this could be a romantic offer. If it is, again, this person has thought it out very long and hard, whether it be an earth sign or any sign, this person has really thought it out long and hard to make the offer, bring the offer towards you. Now, Coming right off the hop, <clears throat> we do see the Eight of Swords here in the upright position. The Eight of Swords can represent a feeling of being trapped, but a lot of times with the Eight of Swords, it's just our minds just ruminating thoughts around and around and around and won't give us any peace. And we just feel like we're being trapped. Now, in some aspects, some area of your life could be concerning your family situation, could be concerning a relationship, could be concerning your work situation finances however it's playing out for you because it's just a gen general read and it's going to be different for all of you so maybe you're just feeling trapped in your own thoughts maybe this situation this offer is coming towards you uh maybe it's taking a long time to get to you and now you're just sort of going around and around in your head or the offer could be getting to you this week and maybe um you're just uh, trying to figure out how you're going to implement it or put it all together. It, there, this, I have a feeling that whatever this offer is could be a little bit complicated. There's other things involved with it somehow, uh, Cancer. So it's causing you a little bit of uh, stress in your head. But remember now, the strength card is here to let you know that you have the strength to deal with whatever situation may come about. The strength card is very healing energy, very beautiful energy. It's like you have to pull in that inner strength, that inner confidence that you have, pull it out and help and let that aid you to deal with the ruminating thoughts in your head. Sometimes the Eight of Swords too, um, this can also represent other people around us that are adding to the anxiety by telling us things like what if you do this and then this happens that kind of thing so try to keep the mind chatter down and try to not discuss whatever it is you're dealing with with other people unless it's something very serious then maybe you might need the aid of a, a counselor or somebody like that but you have the own your own inner strength to draw upon cancer to help you uh, resolve whatever is going on here now moving on towards the weekend we do see the page of swords here in the reverse position i think didn't you get cancer get this last week i'm not sure but Page of Swords in the upright position points to news and communication coming to us, but it's only small increments and we have to double check the facts. When the card is inverted like this, this can represent someone who is just um, either shutting us down. Yes, you did get this last week. Interesting. Um, where somebody is shutting down the communication, just like ghosting us completely, the Page of Swords in reverse can be only telling us part of the story purposely. In other words, um, <clears throat> holding back information that could be very important. Um, if you get the feeling cancer, cancer is very intuitive, like all the water signs. If you get the feeling that someone isn't telling you the whole story or is holding back or is out and out lying to you, you're probably correct with the page of swords in reverse. Also too, this can, um, 
can point can point to uh, perhaps somebody stalking or watching your social media or watching what you're doing that kind of thing um, he's a little bit of a stalker and a little bit of uh, you know um, hmm. and gossipy too could be someone talking behind your back so just be careful of that energy could potentially be around you could be coming in the workplace at home where you know friendship circle whatever the situation is for you and the last card you have up is the beautiful energies here of the fool in the upright position you have two major arcana here both of them with the vibrant yellow um and even the uh, knight of pentacles here which is uh, indicates that your um solar plexus will be strong this week so your inner confidence is just going to shine looks like you're ready to take a leap of faith or that option is there the um the fool in the upright position can point to just sort of leaping maybe that's what it is you you are nervous and feeling a little bit trapped because maybe you feel like you don't have the full story about something but you're feeling like you need to take that leap of faith anyway regardless and move towards uh something that could be there it's a little bit of risky energy the um fool can be because of the fact that it's the unknown like we're marching into the unknown so in closing cancer i'm going to be pulling a uh, chakra wisdom oracle card here to see what's around for cancer and we do have what is this creation Hmm. creation could be new creation a new beginning <laughs> and let's see what astrological sign or energies could be around for you this week cancer from the uh, horoscope cards let's see what we have oh this eclipse in cancer acceptance <laughs> cancer it could be another cancer it could just be representing the word associated with it which is acceptance so you'll have to leave me a comment in the comment section below let me know if this is resonating for you uh that is your reading i hope it helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise i will see you next week bye bye for now